Point coverage on the latest revolving, latest rather, revolving around the shooting at SciTech in Springfield. The third and final suspect, Chance Dudley, who on Tuesday turned himself in, faced the judge earlier today for the second time this week. Western Mass News reporter Matt Price is live in studio with what happened at today's dangerousness hearing. And Matt, what can you tell us? Abby and Chris, this hearing would determine whether or not bail would be set for Chance Dudley, a 20 year old Chicopee resident who was wanted in connection with last month's incident, or should I say uh, the incident two months ago at the High School of Science and Technology. Western Mass News was inside the courtroom at Springfield District Court earlier today as Dudley was once again in front of a judge for this dangerousness hearing. This comes just two days after Dudley was arraigned on several charges uh, related to his alleged role in the shooting at Springfield's High School of Science and Technology back on March 11th. Springfield police believe Dudley was the one in possession of the gun that went off during an altercation. Also charged in this case is Dudley's 45-year-old father, Dana Dudley, and 22-year-old Josiah Livingston of Hartford, Connecticut. Police say they were with a juvenile female student outside the school when a teacher cracked open a door and asked them to leave school grounds. Rounds, but one of the suspects grabbed the handle, opened the door, and forced their way into the building. That is when a fight ensued and the gun went off. Thankfully, no one was shot or seriously injured. Today, though, the prosecutor telling the judge an agreement was reached for what would happen to Dudley for now. Speaking with counsel, I believe that uh, the defendant is going to agree to be held uh, without prejudice at this time. The Commonwealth is fine with that. So that means no bail will be set for Dudley. The suspect will remain behind bars until his pre-trial hearing scheduled for June 6th. Reporting live in the studio, Matt Price, Western Mass News.